James Edward West is an extremely influential individual in the field of sound engineering. James Edward West was born in Farmville, Virginia in 1931, and his interest in electricity was gained when he plugged in a radio into an outlet, and he shocked himself when he was nine years old. Rampant segregation was in practice at this time, but James still wanted to get a job that was about electricity. So he decided on going to a college first at Hampton University. While in college, he would be drafted to serve in the Korean War, where he would be awarded the Purple Heart when he was injured in war. He would return after his service and enroll at Temple University, majoring in physics. West then took a job as an acoustic scientist at Bell Labs in 1957, and he was one of the only few black men in a predominantly white company. While working there, he came up with an idea and worked with his colleague, Gerhard Sessler, to create the electret microphone which was a microphone that picked up much more sound compared to others at this time. And this technology was used in many things like telephones and hearing aids. The Electret microphone can be seen in lavalier mics and broadcasting. Lavalier mics are used widely by news reporters and by theater actors to provide a hands-free way to record audio and amplify sound. In 1969, these microphones first saw usage with the Sony ECM-50. James continued his work with Bell Labs and would have more than 60 patents and 200 foreign patents to his name. James would retire from Bell Labs in 2001 to become a research professor at John Hopkins University, where he would research how to improve teleconferencing technology. James has multiple notable awards to his name, such as the 2006 National Medal of Technology, and was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 1999. Overall, the contributions that James Edward West has made to society and innovation as a whole cannot be forgotten, and his overcoming of prejudice is inspiring. Thank you for watching.